and welcome back to what will be the last episode in this series in Imaginary City. New management has taken over and we're going to see what happens when we restart the simulation. I've run around to turn everything back on. We do have some dead bodies and things laying around, which is not ideal, but hopefully they'll get sorted out quickly enough. Now we've got 360,000. We may have to take some loans in order to keep the, the city afloat, but let's see what happens when we hit go. Ooh, still we've got uh, one or two. So we're going to lose 48, 52, 55. Whoa! We're going to need some things and things quickly. We have 38 people already though. It's pretty happy days. I don't think we're going to, uh, I don't think this city's going to come back. Alright, let's take these. And slow down the simulation a little so that we can run around the city and see what's happening. Now electricity seems to be a bit of a problem throughout the city. And I'm thinking that what we need to do... Okay. Hmm. So it seems that what we need to do is just get some power hooked up again. Once we've got that, we should be okay. If I'm thinking straight. Oh yeah, check that out. Power line that goes under the bridge. <laughs> That's so dodgy. I love it, but it's dodgy. We have 328 people back in the city. It goes to show how quickly you can lose numbers. But it takes quite a bit longer to get them back. Probably not going to need them for a little while. Mm hmm. Yeah. So because electricity is so poorly distributed, seems like we're going to have no end to the problems. And that'll be the main reason by the looks of it, this city's not going to come back. It's not a reasonable time frame. Oh, you can see that the power's starting to spread out again. Probably not quick enough though. Oh, buses only, look at that. It's the only thing on our roads. Dun dun da. So we're at 570 people. Dead people? There's a dead person. At the school of all places. Oh, what is the world coming to? What we're going to do... Just hook those up there, and hopefully that'll encourage some growth in here. While we've got the money to spend, we may as well spend it. We're about to lose it all. We've only gained 770 people back. I think they all learnt a lesson last time. Uh, 
those trees look a little bit sick. Bear, bear. A bile out. There we go. Well, let's accept the bail out. Because, you know, that's that's really going to help us stave off disaster. And if I was to do this seriously, I would probably uh, turn off the majority of the services. But I'm not going to do that. Because I feel like completely ruining this city is the, uh, the way I should be doing things. Buses run around. Ooh, we have 371 students. How about that? I wonder how long it goes and how far into this we can actually get before it says, meh, game over. That is the question, after all. Not enough workers. Seems that Rootville has popped back up pretty quickly. And that may be a function of the land value. The access to leisure is quite good in Rootville. But, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, well, we're at negative 136, so... Can we build stuff? No, we can't build stuff. So it's a matter of hang on for the ride from here. Well, if that's... Uh, if it's just going to let us go, we might as well put all of this to 1%. Right? And try and boost that growth as much as we can. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get a uh, game over. Which might uh, mean interesting things for those trying to max out population if that's the case where you can just go to infinitely negative money. And see the power starting to come back on in parts of the city as they uh, hook back up. Back into the network, that is. Transport tower seems to be working. Might as well turn these back on. Hey, what's a little bit more of money lost? Back up to 1800, and we're growing at a reasonable rate. Not as fast as we lost them, that's for sure. But at a reasonable speed. No farmland has popped up again. Which leads me to wonder... Do uh, maybe officers... So far there's been no officers pop up. Okay. I wonder why we have no industrial demand. That's very interesting. But we've got 2,200 people now. Let's have a look at some data views. Crime rate. Oh, immaculate. Your public transport. Fire hazard. Oh, okay. Oh, that's only because it doesn't have electricity. That's alright then. Moving right along. We seem to be going along okay, actually. Apart from the fact that we're nearly a, negative, a million bucks in the negative. That little one there just hooked up everything. See that? Connected all that to the grid. I would have liked power to be part of the road network. 
I feel like that would have made sense. Rootville's going along strongly. We're starting to get some momentum now though. 3,000 and climbing. We've got another 10 minutes to go on the on the video, so this will be interesting to see how this all finishes up. We're still at negative 69,000. Over here we've got... Uh, I think that our school system is quite strong. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. Okay, so there's 4,000. There's four and a half thousand. Seems that things are being built and then leveling up pretty easily. See that that's got an upgrade underway. Well, that was an upgrade rather. This is all going to be very interesting because in the next video, the next series rather, that's going to start, uh, well probably tomorrow, from the time you see this video, or the day after, I'm going to be playing in hard mode, so the RCI will be nerfed somewhat. All seems to be going along okay. We're up to 6,000 now. And 1.6 million in the red. Seems that government borrowing is no problem. And you can hear the upgrades going off, that's for sure. So here's the funny thing, right? We've taken these loans and they're still being paid back. <laughs> Anyway, we've got that negative balance down to negative 67. It was 68 or 69, I believe. Okay, we're going to continue to see things grow here with our new. That's going okay. Now, I have no power to change anything here. Because I have no money. We're at, we're at 8,000 people now, so it's all going rather smoothly. Alarmingly so, I would say.
Ooh, those buildings spring up now. I think our cheap taxes are really driving the growth. Let's see that we're back to a pretty good, uh, pretty good little city. Used to be four times as large, but we're getting there. You can see the farms are starting to actually spring up again now. I wonder if... Yeah, and the same with the oil as well. There's something interesting. The ground pollution seems to have gone away. At least around the oil derricks when they were in. This things got pretty messy there for a little while. See, Rootville's looking the goods. Can't even place trees, man. Imagine that we've got, yeah, we've got plenty of incinerator capacity, that's for sure. Seems that the cars are starting to return to the roads now. Starting to get a bit more traffic up. You see that our demand for everything is quite low. Understand what's happening there because it's hooked into. Oh, well, I can't actually help because it's hooked into this. It's actually producing a couple of megawatts of power, which is actually powering enough for, of these industries. But we're down to negative 64,000, 13,500 people. I think this is pretty much where uh, we're going to stop this simulation. So uh, thank you very much for joining me in this series. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which should be a lot of fun. Be sure to check it out. Until next time, see ya.